This is the Yeelight camera that I just purchased. And um, I did a lot of research, a lot of uh, video reviews I looked at on the internet. And hardly anybody even mentioned a very important setting on this camera. And it's called your ISO. And to get to the ISO, you want to hit the tool icon. You want to hit the tool icon and then make sure that your camera icon is selected and then you can scan all the way down and go to image parameters and then you'll see here it says ISO and if you click that on you'll see that you have 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200 and 6400 uh, ISO. If you don't know what ISO is, there are plenty of videos out there that can better explain what ISO does. But in all intents and purposes for this camera, what the ISO will do for you and does do is the higher the number, and when I'm talking about the higher the number, I'm talking about um, like 64 and 32, the brighter your picture will be and the less light you need. As you go through down to the 400s, 200s, and 100s, you need much, much more light, but you get a much better and sharper quality of picture. So you do have to adjust this, especially if you're indoors and you're having a little, little bit of problem maybe with the lighting. It may be a little too dark for you. You go into your ISO setting, and I'm going to show some examples of what that will do for you. Now, if you look at... I shot with this camera uh, these images and they're in a office room here that is 16 by 30 and the lighting is just normal lighting uh, I have uh, one two three four five fluorescent lights plus some natural light coming in so this is the first image at uh, 100 ISO and you can see it it's pretty dark and it's kind of hard to uh, make out what the images is and then the next setting is going to be 200 and you can see it's starting to get a little bit lighter but it's still not good enough now the setting at 400 you can tell it's much lighter but it's still a little dark and you'd like to to bump it up a little bit more then if you go to the setting of 800 this is is pretty good um, you're gonna have to play around and determine whether you want the setting here at 800 or now we're going to go to 1600 now 1600 is good but you can also start to look if if you look at it close enough it's starting to get a little bit of grain and that's what happens when you start going to the higher number s isos yes you will get more light coming in but then you start getting a little bit of grain to the image then we're going to go to the 3200 which is a lot lighter and you're starting to see more grain and then at the 6400 it's much lighter and you can see more grain <clears throat> so i think that's a very important setting on this camera that nobody has talked about that could really help you out uh, you might be indoors and, and not be able to get a good uh, picture because it's too dark and you think there's something wrong with the camera and actually you just have the ISO set at the wrong setting so it's best for you to play around with it when you go outside um, like a 400 or a 200 on a sunny day is really good you get some good image quality and you, there's enough light out there to uh, to work with that setting so uh, if you have any questions just uh, you know shoot it out to me and maybe I can help you out and I hope this video helped you out